Shiite rebels in Yemen have already taken Sana'a, the capital. Uh, now they're advancing on Aden. They have taken an airport nearby, and the president is in the wind. Uh, he has uh, flown the coop. President uh, Abed Rabu Mansur Hadi uh, has left the building, literally. Uh, as uh, the Associated Press explains here, Hadi fled Wednesday morning from the presidential compound in the palace in Aden to an undisclosed location. Um, now, uh, we begin to tell you about all the other disasters happening in the country. The rebels offered a bounty uh, uh, for Hadi's capture and arrested his defense minister. Hours later, they launched airstrikes targeting presidential forces guarding the palace. Now, you know things have gone badly uh, when you've lost your defense minister. Maybe you didn't pick the right guy if he's being captured in the middle of the battle. But anyways, uh, they also have so much air power that they are can actually launch airstrikes against the airports, uh, the palaces, the government buildings. That's some serious rebels there. Now, part of the reason is that they have actually joined forces with the former president of Yemen, uh, Saleh. Now, he was a questionable character to begin with. He apparently has gathered his loyalists, and that's why they might have some air power behind them, and joined up with the Shiite rebels, and they are now a potent force together, unfortunately. Uh, and now Hadi is asking the United Nations to intervene and to send in foreign forces, uh, but he is on the run and things are not going well. Uh, in fact, uh, the rebels have also captured the TV stations, and on the TV stations is where they put the bounty on his head and offered $100,000, which is a hell of a lot of money in Yemen, for anyone who turns him in. So the situation is looking dire. Uh, it's so bad that. Uh, like we saw in Iraq, a lot of the forces in Yemen that are loyal to Hadi have fled, leaving their uh, weapons behind. When you're leaving the, the guns and the ammunition behind and looters are running through it, things are not going well. So uh, none of this is good news. Further news, military officials said militias and military units Hadi had fragmented, speeding the rebel advance. They said the rebels were fighting Hadi's troops on five different fronts on Wednesday. Uh, so they're fragmented, they're all over the place, there's many different fronts. Okay, how can this get worse? Well, I have news for you. Earlier, Al Masira reported that Houthis, uh, those are the Shia rebels, and Allied fighters had secured the Al Anad air base, the country's largest. It claimed the base had been looted by both Al Qaeda fighters and troops loyal to Hadi. What? How is Al Qaeda in the mix here? Now, Al Qaeda. Is clearly not with Hadi's government. Hadi's government is working with the West, with the Gulf states, uh, and, and the Europeans to fight against Al Qaeda. But Al Qaeda is definitely not with the Shiite rebels. They're Sunnis. They hate the Shiites. Oh, great. <laughs> Al Qaeda is running around in this chaos. They're not on either side, and they're hitting everybody. And by the way, this is one of the strongest branches of Al Qaeda in the whole world. The United States government thinks that uh, Al Qaeda's branch in Yemen is the most lethal. They're the ones that uh, did the underwear bomber and set up many other attacks against America. When the Charlie Hebdo uh, killings happened, uh, a couple of those guys were loyal, they said, to the Al Qaeda branch in Yemen. Oh, great. More bad news on that front. The U.S. recently evacuated some 100 soldiers, including Special Forces commandos, from the base after Al Qaeda briefly seized a nearby city. So while we're trying to fight the Shiite rebels along with the Hadi government, Al Qaeda hits us near our base, and they capture a city nearby. Shiites and Al Qaeda are closing in, and we got our guys get our guys the hell out of there. Right? This is an unbelievable mess. All right. Just when you thought it couldn't get any worse, final part of the story: Saudi Arabia warned that if the Houthi coup does not end peacefully, which by the way is not likely given what I just told you, we will take the necessary measures for this crisis to protect the region. Oh, great. So, in the mix, we might now have Saudis and other Arab countries coming into Yemen to do battle against the Shiite fighters and perhaps also against Al Qaeda while we're evacuating and no one can find the president. This is a recipe for disaster. But that recipe, by the way, has already been cooked and it's already being served. We're in the middle of the disaster. Yet another country spiraling out of control.